Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm super excited to share with you my essential packing list for our little one when we travel. And I was really inspired to do this video, mostly from you all, because I did a video two weeks ago around um, how to travel healthily and minimally um, with a toddler. And I got a lot of feedback to do the packing essentials list. So here it is. If you're new to this channel, welcome again. My name is Tumi. I am a dancer, a poet, a medical doctor, and I help people uncover and nurture their most delicious lives, their optimal desired well-being. I do this through my healing dances that I create and perform and my expertise as a holistic physician. On this channel, I love to create videos around my raw vegan lifestyle, around voluntary simplicity or minimalism, which this video is all about, um, holistic health tips in general, and lots of dance. If any of that is of interest to you, then consider subscribing down below and definitely click the notifications bell next to it so you know when my videos come. So let's get started. The packing essentials list for my little one. And I said for my little one because this video would be much longer, although not too much longer, honestly, if I also told you my packing list. Um, apologies, today's a kimono day for me. So I'm in my kimono, I'm getting uh, personal with you, and I'm gonna show you some of the items from the packing list. The packing list for me, I'm not going to include, but I do wanna say I have a whole video on that. And the video is called Everything I Own Fits In Here. In here, is this, this duffel bag that I've had for years. I replaced it with the same exact duffel bag, I think once, but it's actually quite durable. And I have a whole video about what I pack when I travel. So you can check that video out. I will leave that in the description box below. For this video, we're focusing on my little one. My little one is two and a half years old. We've traveled with him internationally twice now long trips both time. The first time was when he was about a year and a half and we were in Croatia and California and the second time was just about a month ago now. We just came back about a month ago. We were gone for almost four months during this trip and everything fit in here for me and my little one. My sweetheart had a backpack and I also had a little handbag. I'll show you that. Excuse me. Hand luggage. It looks like this, my handbag. This duffel bag fit in the overhead compartment of the airplane. My sweetheart also had a shoulder bag in which he kept our food. Food is vital. My video I made two weeks ago, please take a look at that for context about more on how we travel healthily as a minimalist family. And you'll see why that bag is so important. So what did we pack? What did I pack for my little one? The essentials. I do want to say I was also looking at some other um, videos on minimalist travel with a little one. And I saw a video from Brendan Fallis. And I think his videos are often I find super positive. They're a family that travel a lot also. And I saw a video from him about their packing essentials for their little one. And it was great. And I thought, okay, I definitely have to make a video now because we don't pack like that specifically in the sense that I don't have a lot of gadgets and lots of things for our little one. I think his video is fantastic and I'm also excited to, to offer in this video an alternative so you can see that there are many ways to roll, so to speak. So let's get started with the essential list. Clothes, of course, and uh, we don't have a ton of clothes, none of us. And uh, as a minimalist family, my, my little one loves the few clothes he has and we have clothes that are durable and organic material, breathable material. I'm not gonna go through a lot of that right now. I'm looking for an example I can show you of that. One second. One of his favorites. This is made, I think, from bamboo or organic cotton. Super light, very easy to pack. I think we packed about three pairs of pants and shorts, um, maybe three sh uh, shirts. 
and diapers. So I talked about the diapers in the last video. We only packed four diapers along with inserts. We've had these diapers since he was born. Um, I'll leave a link to all the essential items um, that have a viable link, so to speak, in the description box below. This I think is bum genius. Um, we've loved them. He's had them since he was born again. And we packed about four of them and really didn't need more than that because we've been practicing elimination communication since he was born. And that has really sped up the whole potty training process. He, I talked about this in the last video, he um, is able just to say when he needs to pee pee or caca and the diapers are only for when he sleeps at night at this point. So that was enough for us. Another packing essential um, that I wanna talk about is the cleanup cloths. This is an old um, swath of cloth that was gifted to me, I think it's from Ghana, and I used it, my sweetheart and I used it for years as like a blanket for when we'd go to the beach or um, to have picnics in the park, and it just started getting kind of old, and, and so now I have just cut them in lots of pieces that we use to clean up spills. These I cannot stress high enough as so vital for travel, just to have something to clean up. Um, you can also get something that has kind of a waterproof covering or lining. Chucks is the word that's used in the States in the hospital a lot of times, but you can use something that just is a cloth and then underneath like um, a shower lining that you can DIY yourself. Having one of these I think is great to pack. For example, if there's a pee pee episode on the plane or you think there might be, you can put that on your lap and have your little one on top of you. Clean up cloths is what I call these and having, I don't know, five or six that are, they're super easy to, to roll up. I had a few of these in my handbag and so did my sweetheart in his hand luggage. So they were easily, easy, easily accessible. Diapers also easily accessible in my hand luggage. Um, the second thing or the third thing, I'm not gonna count, I'm just gonna go through the list is little containers for food, stainless steel or wooden with glass or um, silicone covers. We try to avoid plastic. These are fantastic because food, again, healthy food, vital for the plane. So I had, I think we had two of these where we put up things like avocado halves, cut up um, fruit, um, cucumbers are wonderful, they're so hydrating. Food that we love and that my little one loves, my my sweetheart kept this in his hand luggage. So Jade, my sweetheart, wanted me to um, say, I'm jumping in to say, that I actually turned out the Ziploc bags, frankly, because he carries the food for us a lot of times, end up being a little bit more um, logical or um, helpful than some of these travel containers. Honey, why? Because of the... Uh, because of the space that they use. It's much more packable and uh, yeah. if it's okay, it's, if it squishes a little bit, uh, it's much, much more convenient for packing. Yeah. And I'm sad saying that because Ziploc, as you know, is plastic. So if you, what I think we'll do in the future is we'll look for bags that are as compressible as Ziploc, but not plastic. Maybe silicone. Maybe silicone. And if you guys know of anything like that, let us know in the comments down below. And that's what I wanted to say here. I also love these. These are wet, I call them like wet bags. They're called wet bags. This one is from Kanga Care. We've also had these since he was born. They're full of his clothes right now. I got two of these and these are great because um, they're lined, right? So for things like soiled linen, soiled um, diapers, it's fantastic. I got two of these. <laughs> We've had these two since birth, but I packed both of them. One of them I used for when the diaper would get kind of soiled or usually it was, it was always just pee because again, he can just say when he needs to caca. Um, and if we had a pee episode with a diaper while he was sleeping on the plane, I would just take that and throw that into here. And the second bag I used to actually pack his, all his stuff, his clothes um, and and fresh diapers and more extra cleanup cloths. So basically his stuff 
fit into my duffel bag that I just showed you in two bags like this that I just folded and compacted. So I wanted to say that. And then in terms of carrying, hugely essential. This is the Ergo. We've had this one also since birth. I used like more of a cloth wrap for the first few months of his life. It was just what felt better. But afterwards I moved to the Ergo and he 99% of the time now at two and a half years old, he's walking. He loves to walk and run and climb. Um, anybody who's afraid of, if I carry my baby, he's not going to be mobile. Our child was walking at 10 months old and once he wanted to walk, he didn't want to go back in this usually. Um, but this is fantastic for when you want to do hikes while you're traveling or I use this for when we had a plane to catch, when we had like a layover that we were cutting it short. And that happened one time during this trip and we were booking it through the airport. And that moment, I remember being so thankful for how minimalist we are because we didn't check in any luggage. We never check in luggage. We just had the duffel bag, um, my husband's um, backpack, our little hand bags, right? Like I showed you and the Ergo, and Sky was in the Ergo. My little one was in the Ergo. He did not complain. He understood what we had to do. We had to go from one terminal running to another one. Um, and it was it was awesome to, to just feel like, ah, this is one of the reasons we pack light. So the Ergo, I think, is fantastic. Um, and even now, when we go on hikes, long hikes, he's happy to be on it, but otherwise, the child loves to, to move on his own. Um, I want to get to this part because I think it's a really important part of my whole reason for making this video is that for me, essentials is not about this dogmatic only must have this or this rigid idea. I think that joy is such an important part of packing and traveling. And this is why I want to show you these two items. This is Sky's journal. This is his latest journal. Sky loves, loves, loves to draw. This journal is almost full already. So packing his journal and um, some pens is a crucial packing essential for our family, as well as one book that he loves. Um, you can see how well loved this book is. But we packed one book he loved. We would find books on the way um, on our travels, but one that he could he could read during the plane rides. Um, we could read together and then his journal with his pens and crayons and is that it? There's one more thing, but I want to look at my list. I want to mention the phone because the phone might seem like something that's not for the, for, for your child, but I think it absolutely is, especially if you have things like a baby monitor app on there or um, in our case, the noise machine or the white noise app. I have a white noise app on my phone. We did pack, where is it? This is the other packing essential that is about Sky. This is an iPad. Um, it's for Sky and also for Jade and I, my sweetheart and I, because this had the white noise app for the nighttime um, in case I needed to use my phone for reading when he went to sleep. But it also is where Jade and I will watch a movie or an inspirational video together after our little one goes to sleep. So it's for our health as well for, as well as for Sky as well. Um, I'm looking at my notes really quickly. Yeah, the last thing I want to show you is this. Manda Panda. Um, so multifunctional, such an important minimalist item. <laughs> I say that because she brings Sky joy, having her, his stuffed animal with him. And Manda Panda also is multifunctional and serves also as a fantastic armrest, headrest on the plane. So it's just a fun and um, cheeky way of just saying, make sure you bring in also items that just bring your child joy when you are packing. And that's the packing essential list. I do want to say a couple of things. Um, minimalism for me is a journey and it was a huge part of my health journey. 
And I now guide people as a physician um, in really decluttering their lives, in decluttering their lives and also decluttering their bodies through detoxes. I have a summer synergy cleanse that I invite you to check out if you're in, at all interested in moving into a more minimalist life, that one that is clears up and cleans up and lightens up your life in a way that I think brings so much health and vitality. My Summer Synergy Cleanse marries decluttering the body, detox, with decluttering your space. And this is how we're also able to travel so lightly as a family because we don't have a lot of stuff. and We don't have things that weigh us down. So we feel like we have to be always in one place and managing our home. We can take to the road and feel free. So summer is a beautiful time to clean up. Any time in the year is a beautiful time to clean up. But I have a specific summer synergy cleanse. And if you are in the summer, wherever you are in the world right now, or entering that, as I know people in the Northern Hemisphere are right now, or you're in the tropics, this is a beautiful one for you because the um, recipe list, the eating list, the food list for the recipe portion of the detox takes in consideration summer foods and tropical foods. Again, there's a part that is about the food, so a detox program for your, for your body, as well as detoxing your space. It's a seven-day challenge or seven-day program in which I walk you through day by day, seven days of decluttering your body and your home. You can check out that cleanse in the description box below. I've gotten beautiful feedback about it, so um, check that out. And if you're just interested in knowing more about my work, check out my website. I'll leave the link to that in the description box below. I'm also interested in hearing from you. What are your packing essentials? And for your little one, if you have one, let me know that in the um, posts in the comments below. Hmm. I think that's it. I hope this video was inspiring, uplifting, made you smile at some point, um, educational in some way for you. And I send you so much love. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with anyone you think might benefit. Subscribe if you like, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.